He's simply amazing, big guy. A pleasurable performance of pure pirate prowess. I think he's supposed to be singing that, you know, with those little notes. Oh my god! Little tribal snarly teeth. Arr, arr. Run! Run away! Arr, arr, snarly teeth! Arr. Oh my god! What are we gonna do? We're at the edge of the world and they're coming for us! Well, we certainly stumbled upon some pretty deep danger this time. Oh, the things they'll do to you, Zack. I, I just can't watch. Of course, I'll be fine and dandy since I can just fly away. Yeah, you would. You'd be very happy. You'd love to see me die, wouldn't you? Yo, guys, I found a, a, a sweet Lona. Oh my god, who was that? It couldn't be Johnny, could it? Come on, jump. Johnny is never there to save us. That was a close one. It was Johnny! Thanks for the treasure, dudes. Later. Woo! And we leave them in the dust while we go back to our hideout and, uh, you know, kind of show the results screen. Woohoo! <laughs> and I'm unpuzzleable. Thank you very much! Because I am awesome and I also ranked up. Ranks really don't mean anything, seriously. <laughs> Unless they really do mean something and, you know, like maybe some secret ending or something. I don't know. I've only been through the game once before. And now we have unlocked a completely new area to the game. Since we cleared the jungle ruins completely. Look at us. What do we have here? Yeah. Woo! It is the Frozen Temple. And we are going to be doing the uh, Crystal Key or Keeper of the Ice. I'll do the Crystal Key first. I think this is a fairly short stage if I'm not mistaken. The last time I played it. Basically what this stage is about is creating your own key out of ice and you have to do it the right way otherwise you're stuck. Don't worry, I'll show you how to do it. As you see this is a pretty small room that we're in. First let's see what's inside this jar over here because this jar kind of suspicious over here. Yeah, And it's only a gold coin which actually isn't that suspicious then. What's under the rock? Yeah, we got another coin. Yay! Okay. <laughs> Okay, now I want you to first look at the order of these doors here. See these three doors? You've got like a greenish, a dark blue, and a light blue. That is the order for this puzzle right here. Go, go, go right over here, and you want to go like this, and... Oh, not that way, not that way. Up, and up, thank you. Okay, to the right, and down. And to the right, just like that. Okay, that is the order that of the key that you want. Now press this or pull the switch, I should say, just like this, just like your hand is over. Yeah, I am the most powerful arm ever. And now water will appear here, and ice will appear over there. Now there's absolutely nothing you can do on this side. You can't slide these pieces, and you can't touch the water. So what are you gonna do? Just hit the switch one more time. Just like this. Other way! Yeah! My muscles are growing! <laughs> and now the ice will freeze that key, just like that. Now, what you want to do is put this key, I mean, this ice rod right here, which. Is, okay, it's an ice bar, whatever. Well, not, I don't know, I click on that and put it into here. Right in this slot. Now, as you can see, that did not help me make a key. So I'm gonna have to flip this switch two more times, just like this. Yeah. yeah. Turn those line heads. And that did absolutely nothing to the key since it was already frozen. And turn the switch back over. And freeze the water. This is going to create yet another ice bar. Now, why do we need two ice bars? Well, I'm gonna show you why, kids. <laughs> Okay, see you'll notice that the surface of this looks awfully reflecting, but well, click on this light right here. See that? This light right... that light right there. Yes, the light coming from that window. What you want to do is reflect it like you're trying to burn an ant with a magnifying glass, just like that. You want to put the thinnest part of the stream touching that. See, so you gotta get a little closer. There we go. Come on, melt it, melt it. Hey, hey. I'm losing it here. Go on. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, I had it really good there. Okay. Just like that. And now we have got the key. Or I should say the water melted. Now, flip the switch one more time. Push it over. Yeah! 
I feel I can lift 200 pounds after playing this game. <laughs> All right, and now that'll freeze it properly and create a key. Woohoo! And let's grab our key. And yes, and we've got the ice key. Now the ice key obviously can be made different ways depending on how you made put those blocks. That is why you have to look at the door first to see what the door's uh, color pattern is. That's why, uh, yeah, I basically said it. Whoops, I gotta flip the key around. Yeah, flip, there we go, and put it right in the hole. That's what she said. And then turn it around, and it should work. Yep, it worked. Woo! We're on our way to the treasure chest for our good old pirate booty. Yay! Thank you. Thank you, Wiki. You did absolutely no help, except for this. Ding, 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 ding. Alright, time to open that treasure chest and get another piece of Barbados. I mean Barbaros, excuse me. This appears to be some sort of axe. Ver Verbiturung axe. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Anyone else know? Hurry up and put me back together. I've never seen that word before other than my first playthrough and I, had, I forgot to look it up. <laughs> And that appears to be part of his hip. Yeah, you've got six parts. Yeah, blah blah blah. blah yeah. <laughs> it's all the screen. And we've got both ice keys. Yep. All time genius. I know. I'm awesome. <laughs> and it looks like we're going to be going to the next stage right away since we've got a little bit of time left in this part. Uh, so, yeah, let's go on to the next stage. I'm, so I can give you a briefing on what the next one is going to be like at least. And maybe I'll just show you the intro to the next stage. I'll do Keeper of the Ice. I think there'll be just enough time for the intro, honestly. And, you know, more loading screens. <sighs> Most of the time you can actually play this game uh, one-handed, but uh, it, it seems to be like a right-handed game. It's not very left-handed friendly. <laughs> okay, we've got this icy area. It looks pretty pretty. <laughs> got some Christmas trees hanging out on the side there. And we're going to go check out some things. Oh, we've got a pirate dude there. Ooh, look at that treasure chest. Ooh, I'm so excited to get some treasure, he's saying. And I'm going to get that treasure. Oh my god, what is this thing? It looks like a robot with a broom. Run! Run! Ow! Okay, now, walk outside of this platform right here and touch snow. Hold on a sec. When the clock strikes 12, the robot goes crazy, and he sweeps up the footprints. That, that robot is very, very finicky about his footprints. He does not like any snowflake out of place, so if he sees any footprint, like this one that I left right here, he'll sweep it up, and if you're in his path, he'll kill you! Okay, now that I have briefed you on the level design, I'll see you guys in the next part.